Hey guys, welcome to Season 6 of Modded War. Yes, it's back, and I'm on a team with Sword this season. I'm really excited for this season. It's just, it's gonna be, I think it's just me and him right now. Mastery may join us in, in a few days, but yeah, we're gonna try and find a good base location area and a place to set up, because we don't really know what we're gonna do this season yet. We don't know if we're gonna be bad, be good, or anything. But yeah, we're gonna see how it goes to start with maybe set up a base first and then see see what we are from there yeah i'm gonna get set up get some iron gear and yeah because it started yesterday people have already got stuff going i, I saw a little farm down there so i'll take take my bread so i'm gonna go out get some materials and stuff like that because i know Saul's streaming in a, in a bit so, so i'm gonna get some stuff on stream i hope you guys enjoy this season of minecraft war hopefully it's gonna be a blast Okay, so I've just been uh, been running around. I've got some stone tools, some coal, some stuff like that. And I found this little island here. I mean, it's a, it's a decent size and it's sur surrounded completely by water. So I think it'd be perfect. And it's on the border as well. So any air attacks, it'll be harder for them to actually kill us. So I'm thinking of maybe building a wall around this whole area. I'll have to tell Saw because he's streaming right now. But yeah, I think this, this place could do really nicely because it goes all the way around over there. And, and yeah... I think we could use this quite nicely. Okay, so we're on the island now. I've got some, got tons of iron. We've got, we've got like three stacks or something. Um, and yeah, so this island, probably going to split it up into different sections. Like this island that I'm on right now will be the main actual island. I'm going to make some walls around the outside for now. Maybe too high so that people can't actually, um, people can't actually get into the island. So I'm going to put some signs down here. Sword and Barry's area. And yeah, I'm gonna mark this as our territory, obviously, so that other people don't try and claim it. Okay, so it's the next day. Uh, we've done a lot of progress. So we've got this wall all built up. It would sort of just making it three high right now. Um, and it goes the way all the way around this middle island because this is going to be our main area. This is going to be the fortified area. And over there, we're probably going to be having the runway and helicopters over here. And then on the other one over there, we're going to have the food area where we're going to store all of the animals, uh, where we're going to keep all the farms and stuff like that for food on that one over there. But that one's not really going to be attached as such, so we're not really going to fend that island as much. But yeah, so I've made this little starter house here overnight, and yeah, it's, it's, it's looking alright. We've got some stuff in the chests here, so we've got quite a lot of ores and stuff, a lot of, uh, a lot of wood which will come in handy. So we're, we're doing quite well considering it's a very new map, so we're doing quite well. And right now I'm probably going to go check out some other bases, because it's been a few days since the server opened, so other people should have, I think, started bases because I know there's a lot of teams this map because anyone can make their teams. It's a lot more, a lot more laid back. So I'm gonna go around to see if I can find any bases and mark down where they are. Okay, so we've got our farms done now because um, it was just one big strip before. What Sword did this, we made the farms like this, and I've been working on a uh, a tower. It's obviously gonna loop around here, but it's coming along nicely. It's got. It's got some lookout posts for now. I'm probably gonna make it quite tall, as like this is gonna be one of our main lookout towers, because uh, it had a natural kind of curve outwards anyway. So we decided to make it into a a watchtower. So yeah, this is gonna be quite good. Also, we just we just uh, recruited a new member, KG Roadman. So he's gonna be on our team from now on. I think he's just getting a set because he's just logged on for the first time. So yeah, KG will be in our team as well. So it's just the three of us now. And yeah, it's, it should be good. Okay, so currently we we are on the I think we're on the west border. Yeah, 
We're on the west border, so I'm going to travel east because I know this map is only 2k by 2k, so it should be pretty easy to find bases because everything's kind of compact right now. Um, I think they might extend the border in the future, but I'm not too sure about that. Um, but yeah, our base is looking sick right now. It's looking well defended. I know there is a couple bases over this way because while I was walking over, I did see a few bases. So I'm going to go check those out, I haven't really looked into it much. So yeah, I'm going to run over this way, I know there is a village because that's how... Okay, so I've just found... I think this is a base, or it might be just someone's farm, it's right next to the village I was talking about. Um, it looks kind of small, I'm not too sure if this is a farm base or their actual base, because obviously they have, they have their potatoes here. And then, okay, so this is Fife's and the highest grounds base. Let me try and get to the fastest, one, two, three, four, come on. I guess not. Alright, so it's kind of just a starter base I guess here. I doubt they'd live here because it's not really a good tactical advantage here. But I'll keep on walking around see if I can find any other bases. So that's just a kind of small little base. I'll mark, I'll mark that down so, so the next time we can see if there's been any development there. Okay, so I've just come across another base. They've got some got some crops down there. It's quite a nice little, little shack. This is Echo, Toxic and Nedger's base. I'm guessing this is just their starter base, there's there's no roof or anything in here, but it's all made out of wood as well. But they, they have quite a lot of, lot of stuff in here to be fair, like some diamonds, they have a lot of uh, love ores in their chests as well. And also when I was up here I saw another base, oh it's right there, yeah that huge, that huge building over there. Which actually looks pretty cool, but it would be even better if it wasn't made out of wood because then anyone can just go over with a flint and steel. Just burn it all down. This this must just be a starter base because I, I wouldn't have thought they would have built build a base here. It's not really unless they're building like a uh, a castle around around this house here. It seems too peaceful. I, I think I think whoever's living here is probably going the peaceful life and trying not to get in any wars, which I can respect. But it looks beautiful the house. I mean, let me go around here see whose house this is because they've obviously they've obviously set up quite a bit oh it's Harzog's house let's, let's have a look inside he's, he's got some stuff he's not he's not very rich though oh there's actually another house over there as well three houses in a row that house seems a bit smaller but it does have an enchantment table and and a burner and quite a few crops so i'm gonna see see whose base that is over there oh it's alex's land Okay, so he's probably going to be our ally anyway. This could be good because he's quite close to our base. He has a lot of stuff from the seams of it. Yeah, he seems quite rich. So if we can get an ally ship with Alex, that would be great. Yeah, it looks like it's just a little starter house. That's what everyone really has right now. So yeah, I'm going to keep looking around for some more bases. We just got lucky with three bases in a row. They're going to probably have a lot of competition between them. So I kind of want to see how that goes down. Okay, so I've just stumbled across a very large base for this early on in the map, and it looks it looks kind of cool. You, I think they're trying to go for like a uh, a castle kind of theme. It's looking quite nice at the moment, actually. But they could oh 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 who's that? I cannot see who that is. They are very geared for this early on. I need to, need to be careful that they don't see me. I don't know what that skin is, who that is. Oh, They look rich already, because if they have advanced aloe already, and he's got... Oh, he looks rich, considering it's like day two or three of the map. They've already got, they've already got some of their walls up as well. Okay, so these guys are the most advanced that I've seen so far. I don't know who that is, I can't recognize the skin. Could be... Uh, could be Honkfather, could be Romalicus, could be Resuscitation, could be any of these people. It could be Shrimp Goes Rip. Um, I'm not too sure who that is. I don't really want to go too close because obviously they have a lot better stuff than me. So I'm going to try and stay. Oh, there's another person there. They're all in advanced alloy as well. Okay, I need to be careful here. I really want to know who it is though, because there's two of them on, and I don't really know who's in whose team. Uh, I think that's the Honk Father. I think. So I'm, I'm gonna run away now, because I don't really want to get spotted by these guys, because they, they seem to be the most equipped out of anyone that I've seen on the server so far. Surprised they didn't see me though, I want to see. 
Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the comments, write what you think our team should be, like good, evil, whatever. Maybe we should be like black market dealers, don't know. So yeah, just put it in the comments. And yeah, I hope you guys are excited for this new season of Modded. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.